What is up, beautiful? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Cynthia. I am so happy that you are here to join us because let me tell you, today's video is going to be spicy. She's going to be spicy. But before we get started in the video, don't forget to subscribe down below. I like to post new and exciting weekly makeup videos and let's get to it. All right, so here it is. Here is the Hip Dot Reese's Pieces Press Pigment Palette. I have another Press Pigment Palette and um, I have the lipsticks, but we have to talk about the packaging. We have to talk about the packaging. I mean, look at this. Look at it. It looks like a freaking candy bar and I am living for it. You see that? I feel like if I open it, I'm gonna be eating chocolate today and I love chocolate. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure, if you could say. But yeah, let's go ahead and open these babies up. So I'm first going to start by opening this guy. This is the peanut buttermilk chocolate palette and it's just like, it looks exactly like a freaking candy bar would look like. And right here, it shows you all of the colors that are in the palette, which is really cool. I love it. All right, so moment of truth. How am I going to open this? <gasps> oh, check it out. It is beautiful. This is awesome. The branding, the colors is on point. I love how the candy bar theme is like very consistent. I feel like I'm, if I open it, I'm going to, again, be able to eat some candy, some chocolate. But let's open her up, shall we? Oh fancy wow these colors are bomb they're bomb look at this so as we can see we have a brightly colored yellow we need to have the yellow in there we have um an orange a neutral shade and then what else we got a shimmer they threw a shimmer in there which i appreciate we have a brown stunning glitter it looks like this is a glitter because you can see like the texture in there it's a glitter i feel they have an orange and i love me some oranges okay i am an orange warm tone fan yes so this is bomb already it's giving me like bomb vibes and i'm here for it so let's swatch them i'm gonna start by doing the shimmer Oh, dang, this is bomb. Creamy. Oh, love it. It feels creamy, creamy, creamy. All the, even like all the colors are so consistent and they just feel like the bomb. So there's nothing on the back of my hand. Let's go ahead and do our swatches. Dang! Wow, these swatches are bomb. And like I said, there was nothing on the back of my hand. This is just purely you know intense pigment and i love it this is really really awesome and like they're so pigmented you can still see um a little bit of the colors that are left over on my fingers because they are just that pigmented which is amazing so now let's swatch the yellow shimmer it looks like a gold actually it looks very much so like a very yellow gold we're gonna swatch the glitter <sighs> dang you see that it's like I picked up a lot and I feel like I barely touched it. Like this is really, really good. And lastly, the dark brown, which is bam, intense. You know, I need to like tap off some of this excess here. All right, so we got the gold, we got our glitter. Oh my God, I picked up a lot. And lastly, our browns. The shimmer, the gold is just beautiful. It looks amazing. I feel like this is something that like you need to like pack on your eyelid because i feel like when i swatched it it was a little bit inconsistent but i feel like maybe if i pack on a little bit more just like that you see that yeah that's like way better they are just beautiful colors they're pigmented bright intense and i feel like they're gonna go amazing on the eyes and i feel like this is something that would be really really easy to like blend out together um i personally really hope that the mattes are very easy to blend into each other and that like the shimmers are as intense on my eyelid as they are on the palette here. So moving on, let's go ahead and um, check out our next palette. So the name of our next palette is called the Peanut Butter White Chocolate Palette. And this is what our gal looks like. Again, let me show you the back. You can see in the back, they give you a little preview of all the colors like they did with the last palette that we swatched. All right, let's check it out. Beautiful. Again, I love the theme. So let's open her up. Oh, stunning. Oh, so beautiful. So this is a close-up of the peanut butter white chocolate palette. I feel like this definitely is giving us more of like a nude moment. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like it leans a little bit more 
neutral. They still gave gave us a pop of color, which I appreciate that they didn't just go like full on, you know, brown neutrals and it wasn't boring, you know? They kept the shimmer in there. This also has a beautiful shimmer. And I just feel like overall, the colors work really, really well together. Let me swatch. The mattes feel amazing. Ugh. This last one, the shimmer is so creamy. It feels amazing. It feels so pleasant to swatch. Like these are really high quality eyeshadow guys, eyeshadow and shimmer. So we have our matte, which is very nice and pigmented. So is our brown. And lastly, we have our shimmer. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can personally, I can totally see myself wearing and rocking out these neutral shades on my eyelids. The colors are consistent. The shimmers are just pigmented. Everything is just so on point. I am really, so far, I am impressed at the high quality that Hip Thought brought to this um, collaboration. Like these shadows feel like quality, quality, quality. All right, so now we're gonna swatch the orange. It's called Confection. Snack Time, which is the glitter. And lastly, we're gonna swatch Treat. Same, pigmented. Here's our orange. Dang, that's bomb. And then I'm gonna very carefully pack on slash swatch our gold color, just like that. Boom. And lastly, we have our brown. Again, there is nothing on the back of my hand. These are just like pure pigmented swatches and they are the bomb, okay? Like Hip Thought killed it with this collaboration. These colors are banging. Here's a little bit of more of a close up so you can really appreciate like the intensity and like the bright shimmers and you can see, oh, look at that freaking amazing glitter right there. Like I want it on my eyelid ASAP. I just really love it when you have a collection and you can see like the theme is very consistent all throughout the collection. Like from the names to the colors to the packaging, like I just love myself a really, really well thought out collection and it's just amazing. Like I'm in love, I'm in love. All right, so last but not least, we have the Reese's Tinted Lip Balm Duos. It's a two-in-one, and the colors that we have here are Peanut Butter Lovers, and there's a darker one, which is Milk Chocolate Lovers. Okay, so we have, oh, so beautiful. Look at her, she is bright, she is golden, and my favorite color is gold. Reese's Lips Chocolate Lovers. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, so check her out. She is glamorous. And this is the darker of the two lip balms. And um, I also want to note that this feels very sturdy. You know, the packaging itself, it, I think it's cardboard, but this part right here, it feels like sturdier. So, so it does feel a little bit more high end. Like I don't feel like the packaging of the lip balms is cheap whatsoever. It makes me feel glam. It gives me a glam moment, especially considering that they made this part gold, which I love. Let's give her a swatch, shall we? Okay. I do like it, you know, I do feel like I wish that they would have given us a little bit more color, more pigments, like I wish this would have been like a matte, like a dark matte. I would have really loved a dark matte moment, but you know, she's cute. I like that it's creamy. I can see that it's like shiny, so it's definitely going to be very moisturizing on the lips. And I feel like it's swatched very consistently, so I can't really complain, you know? Next up, we have the Reese's Lips Peanut Butter Lovers tinted lip balm. Let's see what she's all about. Okay, so this is what the color looks like. It's gonna be the lighter of the two colors. I really wish that they would have made this color like a sheen, very creamy color as opposed to a tinted lip balm and that they would have made the um, brown color like a dark matte brown. I feel like that would have been a really good call, but let's watch her first before we like jump into conclusions. So this is what our light brown looks like. It complements the darker brown very, very nicely, but to me, like, they look more like nudes. <laughs> they look like nude, nude colors, and I feel like it's something that I, I feel like I already have something like this in my makeup collection, if you know what I mean. But um, like I said, they swatch very nicely on my lips, on <laughs> my lips. They swatch very nicely on the back of my hand. They look and feel creamy and I can't wait to try it on my lips. All right, so our dilemma now is which one she would go with. And I feel like I'm leaning towards this palette more than this one just because I feel like I love the vibrancy and pigmentation and colorfulness of the peanut butter milk chocolate palette over the white chocolate palette.
So already my first impression is really good. The color is going on very nicely. I felt initially that it was going to be a little bit patchy, but it's actually blending in quite nicely. Yeah, I mean, just check her out. She's blending in very well. She's pigmented. The color is looking exactly like it's looking on the palette. Oh, it's beautiful. You can definitely, yeah, see? You can see the orange peeking through, which is just what I wanted, just like a sunset. Ooh, she's pigmented. Okay, so it's blended and I feel like, yes, it blended in quite nice to the mats, but I do have to say that I feel like it was just a little bit hard to um, get an even blend. And by that, I'm only referring to milk chocolate because I feel like the two other mats like blended in like, like a freaking dream, but maybe I could just like reapply just a little bit more, bring it, bring in that darkness, that intensity. What do you think? Very nice, very um, dark, intense, warm toned, you know? Ooh, dang, it showed up immediately. Okay, so bam, check that out. First of all, the color is beautiful. It's showing up, it's pigmented like, oh, check out that gold, yes. I'm just gonna blend it out using my fluffy Lexi brush. This gold is giving me life right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. And I would say like my only concern is that, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, I feel like the gold kind of is just kind of everywhere, you know? And I did, I really did my best when I was trying to apply and press, use good pressures I was applying, but see kind of just like that. Let me try to pack it on with my smudging brush. Okay, it's working a little bit. Whew, I lost my daylight, but we're still here. We're still going strong and we're now going to be applying the tinted lip balms. I think I'm going to start with the lighter of the two. This is the shade Peanut Butter Lover and there is nothing on my lips. It's just my natural lip color. Pretty. It feels so creamy. It feels like, like there's like shea butter or like aloe vera in this formula because it feels very nice. It's super lightweight. It does have like a little bit, you know, of a brown tint, I feel. Like an orangey brown, if you know what I mean. It's pretty, it's natural, and it complements the eyes very, very well. And last but not least, I'm going to be trying out Chocolate Lover. Ooh, I really like this one. I definitely love this one um, a little bit more than I love the first one. It's like I feel more reddish than the previous and this definitely has more brown, more red in it and I love how it complements my natural lip color and it looks freaking bomb with the eyes. I am living for this color assortment. I mean, I'm not trying to like, you know, pat myself in the back or whatever, but yeah, this is a look. And I had a lot of fun playing with these colors and trying them on and creating this fun, vibrant eye look. I do have to say it was a challenge working with like the darker tones, kind of like the intense dark. I think it was called dark chocolate, the one that's right on the V of my eye. I did have just a little bit of a trouble blending it into the shimmer, the gold, like the gold I'm living for. The gold is like amazing, divine, lavish, and all of that. But if you wanna try this baby out for yourself, I would just say um, be very careful 
with the dark color. Careful with the glitter because geez, there's fallout. And I give the Reese's Pieces and Hip Dog collaboration my stamp of approval. And that does it for this video, my friends. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video and found some value from it, please don't forget to drop me a like. Also consider subscribing. I like to post new and exciting weekly makeup videos. Like always, I wanna thank you so very much for watching. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face on the next one. Bye guys.